I don't know why every update it has to change my input, my inputs. I don't know why. Howdy duty campers. How y'all doing? Oh my goodness. I don't know. I, I don't know where to start. Um, I guess I can start by saying I don't know if anything is working on my stream right now. Um, I've wanted to do maintenance on it for a while and I have not. I apologize. Um, but I don't need to apologize. Screw you. This is my stream. I do what I want. Or don't do what I want. Um, in general, things are actually pretty good. Um, at the same time, I, I have the ability to complain and feel like things are rough. <laughs> and so I haven't I haven't streamed. There's been less, I guess I could say less time, but there's also been a lot of difficulties thrown my way these last few weeks. Um, we're getting over uh, some sickness. My baby boy is sick. It's been really rough on him, and he might also have a hard time sleeping tonight. Uh, he had, I'm not sure 100% what 100% he had. It was probably just some sort of virus, some sort of viral infection. It wasn't, uh, thank goodness it wasn't COVID or RSV or anything like that, as far as we can tell anyway from what the tests we got back. Um, but he was just coughing up a storm, and just he has lots of congestion. We're still working through the congestion part, but he feels better, so that's that's what's great. Uh, the problem is, is that uh, the moment he started feeling better is when my, my wife uh, started feeling terrible. <laughs> um, so they're, they're in bed right now. Um, and I, I, th I believe, as far as I'm aware, they're doing okay right now. <laughs> um, my wife is quite possibly the greatest person on this earth. And the only person that is better than her on this earth right now is probably my son. <laughs> 
Ugh, those two are really the reason, they're the reason I do everything at this point, like, I really love both of them so damn much, and it's been a rough couple weeks, but being, being a husband and a father is probably the best thing uh, in my life, honestly, it's, it's fantastic. I'm gonna take off my, my dadly slippers. Um, I'm gonna sit under a leg, because I do that very often, as I stream and chill. Um, yeah, so it's been a while since we've talked, I don't know where to start. Uh, like I said, I was starting with the fact that uh, I've wanted to change things on my stream for a while. There's a lot of different stuff. We have more emote uh, designs and ideas coming. Um, I was going to change all my alerts and things. Um, still some of it's a, some of that's still on the hush hush down low, but um, a lot of cool and fun things that uh, I have planned. It's just haven't had time to to really execute or follow through with. And some of those, my, my wife helps out with a lot of that sort of stuff as well. And so it's a, it's a balancing act because obviously we both care for a, a an almost one year old child now, which is kind of crazy. Um, and he's, gosh, he's grown so fast. It's so, it's so crazy how fast kids grow. He's terrifying me. He's took his first steps a, a few weeks ago and I don't even think he realized that he was walking and it was really, it was really something to behold. Um, my, uh, me, my wife and uh, my mom were actually in the room when he did it. And it was, it was really shocking and really exciting. And I was, oh uh, gosh, I can't, I can't even explain how it feels. I'm just really proud of this little human being who has learned to do something that we all take for granted every day. Um, and it's really, really cool. I'm really, I'm really glad to be a dad. And so I'm not really sorry for not streaming, because uh, most times when I don't, it's usually because uh, I'm ne either needed or I feel needed by my family. And my family's always going to come first, and I think obviously most people understand that sort of thing, and obviously uh, think that's probably the way you should live your life, is you know taking care of the ones you love. And so I, I'm not sorry for that. Uh, <laughs> never will I be. Um, but yeah, just so you know, baby boy's doing good. Uh, my wife is is slowly getting better. Um, I haven't caught anything yet, but, um, if I do, I hope it's just once both of them are, are better just so that, uh, you know, we're not, we're not limping along <laughs> entirely. Um, but in general, like, that's the thing I gotta say, like, things have been pretty good. Um, I love my new job compared to the last place I was working. Um, it's way better. Um, and in my line of work, working in e-discovery, um, I guess you can have a few, and, and this is kind of the same thing with like IT and other things, but like you can be on a team, like, like an in-house team where you're working for a company, right? And then you can also be a commercial group where, you know, you are working for multiple clients. So you work for a specific company, but that company, you know, sells their services to multiple people. Um, and in the, you know, the company that sells their services to multiple people, which is my previous job, um, there was definitely a lot of like, hey, here's your coworker, Jeff. Uh, Jeff is your friend. Jeff can help you with things. Uh, anyway, Jeff has only been here like you know x amount of time longer than you has than you have, so he can help you, show you through some of the ropes. But uh, he's gonna be your main competition. <laughs> and it's like what? Like oh yeah yeah yeah. And you need to compete while you're here. You need to work as a team, but you need to compete. And I my brain doesn't accept that like that like and i'm not someone who i mean i've gone off about how i'm not the biggest fan of capitalism nowadays um even though i don't i don't think socialism necessarily is the is the idea or like you know i'm not I'm not jumping to either extreme is what i'm trying to say right now um but but my main thing is just that how work forces are set up are not good. <laughs> they don't make sense lots of times. And so th this idea that you're supposed to work on a team and also just compete against each other. And, 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 it, and it wasn't just me and my department. There were multiple departments where there, there were people keeping, like they were keeping secrets on how to do things, like certain processes. They were like, oh, this person really knows how to deal with this sort of data. And that person was very tight-lipped about how to deal with such data. And what happened was, is that this person, uh, you know, got up to the age of retirement, hadn't really, you know, explained it to anyone, got extremely, extremely concerned, you know, like about 
six months before they're going to, you know, retire and leave. And I was like, I should really teach someone this because it actually benefits the team. I need, I don't need to use this as, you know, a, uh, a, uh, what would you call that? Your, uh, contingency for, you know, like keeping you, uh, keeping you employed. You know, this isn't your like Trump card and be like, Hey, if you get rid of me, no one can do this. Um, like I'm the only one who knows this. And it's like, while I understand that being smart, uh, in, you know, a cutthroat world, I don't think you should have to feel like where you work is like that absurd. And I know a lot of people are, are really pro like, you know, oh, it's survival of the fittest and stuff. So I don't, I don't get that when, gosh, in the time that we live in, like it, it makes no sense to me, but it's, it's, I don't know. We live, we live in a world where people can't unionize. We live in a world where, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really not about, it's not about who you hire, despite the amount of, you know, talking about, you know, hiring and I guess, I guess diversity and, uh, different quotas that need to be met. It's not even about that. It, it really is just who's going to be, you know, the most useful, but expendable and cheap at the same time, you know, like you, you would just want replaceable people. And it's really, it's really kind of rough. Um, but my new job is, is honestly none of that. It has been the, like the best work environment I've ever been in. People have been extremely, extremely helpful throughout the entire thing. People have been extremely, extremely understanding, easy to work with, fun people. Um, and it's just been great. Tech industry, yes, Glendale. How are you doing, Glendale? It's good to see you again. Um, yeah, so I work in e-discovery. Um, so I used to do IT primarily. Um, but I work in e-discovery, which is essentially computer forensics. I'm well, thank you. That's good to hear. No, I'm glad to hear that. Um, yeah, so essentially working with uh, computer data and getting it ready for court litigation. Uh, right now, I kind of work for an in-house team, so it's it's more... We're just providing data. Literally, we're just getting information off of current employees' computers or maybe you know non... Or, like, people who are let go... Uh, information that has been stored in old archival, you know, servers and other things. Like there's multiple different platforms, lots of different things that I'm learning about, uh, for how my company does things. Um, but yeah, no, it's just literally learning how to set up searches using the different uh, tools we have and just providing the data. And it's very, it's very simple. And in a lot of ways, it's almost frustrating this job. It's like, so, so laid back compared to where I was working before. And so, um, it's, it's definitely very good. Um, so like, I'm, I'm extremely happy with that. Um, my son's walking. I talked about that. Um, I, uh, I'm going back to, uh, church at the church I used to grow up in. And I don't talk about religion much on Twitch. Um, I don't think people are very kind to religion in general. Um, and so no, I mean, no harm to anybody in any way. Like you can be religious. You can be non-religious. I have, I have friends and acquaintances of all walks of life. Honestly, I really don't, I don't care if you disagree with me or agree with me or, you know, think that religion's bad or good or what have you. But the main reason I don't talk about it is just cause it's not something that's usually that, that pertinent to, I guess, playing video games and talking about video games on Twitch. Um, and, or just, you know, just talking to your community, like, it doesn't come up terribly, terribly often. Um, but I am a very religious person. Um, if that hasn't come out, I mean, I, I, I have mentioned it once or twice before, but it's been very like, you know, low key once or twice under the radar kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, so I belong to, uh, the church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints, not like I'm property or anything, but it's just a way of saying it. Um, which most people would call us Mormons, but we don't, we don't really go by that name. Technically we never really have, but, um, I'm one of those Mormons that, that actually Terry, I think get at Gimpy on the stream once, uh, joked about that. And it was funny because I was like, there's like three, <laughs> there's like three or so Mormons playing the game slash in the chat at the same time. Um, a lot of the people I know on here are also members. Um, which, which makes it even funnier. Um, but, uh, I'm going, and, and the way our church works is like, it's basically the, generally the same wherever you go. It's just, uh, just depending on where you live, depends on the building you're going to go to. And so I'm going back to the place where I used to 
to go uh when i was a kid and it's it's strange dude it's 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 weird but i enjoy kind of getting back to my roots to some degree and just i don't know it's it's strange i i'm at this weird point in my life where i feel like i'm i mean i'm married i have a son like i have doing all right in my career and stuff and like I'm like really comparing and contrasting it with like where I've come from because this is my childhood room. This is literally where I grew up. We used to have a bunk bed in here. Me and my brother shared this room. Um, uh, this place means a lot to me. Um, but in the past three and a half months that I've been here, I just, I feel like I haven't had any time to breathe almost. I've been so busy with work and helping take care of my son and now church and there's I actually have a lot of responsibilities uh, at my church and things like that. And um, and I, I've streamed for a good three or four weeks since being here, um, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, and honestly, I was impressed with the, just the fact that I was able to schedule some of it out and do that, um, that it's hard, you know, it's, it's hard to balance so many things. And I, I feel like I don't, I haven't had a lot of time to catch my breath, but at the same time, like I've been out of routine, man. Um, and I don't know if any of you have a routine in your lives, because a lot of people don't nowadays, and it's hard for people to keep up routines. Uh, you know, like waking up at a certain time, exercising, or not even exercise. It doesn't have to be like those exact things, but like your your morning rituals or like, you know, whatever you do when you get up and whatever you do, you know, on your lunch break or when you get home, like those sorts of things. Like I have been terrible with routines lately. And I think routines are the best thing in the world. But when you are not on a routine and you need to get back on a routine it is like one of the hardest things. It is one of the most frustrating things because everything gets thrown out of whack. And having having a baby is something I think that kind of throws a wrench in that in general because babies need to be taken care of, obviously. Um, and you can kind of loosely schedule them. I've come to learn like you... I, I didn't 100% expect this, but like you can kind of, you can see when they need to take a nap. You can see when they're hungry. Generally, you can see when, when they need certain things. Um, and you can loosely schedule them. Um, at least that's kind of how we're doing with his naps. Um, and, but like at the same time, you can't say like, all right, at one o'clock, I'm going to go on my lunch break and then I'm going to go to the gym and like all these other things. Cause half the time it's like, uh, like this kid's crying and needs a diaper change. Uh, I need to make some lunch and, um, I only want to take a half an hour break because I got too much stuff to do at work or I'm going to spend, I don't know, or maybe I'm going to spend like the other half an hour of a break, like doing something else that I've been meaning to get done. I need to, I really want to clean up this room. I have a million VHS tapes over here. I have a million VHS tapes that I want to go through and check out uh, what's on them. A lot of them are home movie stuff. Um, a lot of them are family vacations. Uh, a lot of it's uh, some old recorded movies and stuff on VHS. It's fantastic. Um, but I've been slowly doing it, but I've, I've stopped recently and I have a lot of, I have a lot of junk in this room. Um, I, I talked about how like the technical stuff on my stream, like all the, some of the stuff is like, you know, not working on the interface and whatnot, but like, dude, let me tell you the cables in here have gone nuts. Um, I have too many cables. Everything's a mess. I have things to either throw away or donate or just burn I guess there's so much um old stuff in here my old room became kind of a storage bin um which I don't blame my parents for because no one's down here uh until I got back um and so I don't really know where all the time goes sometimes you know and it's, it's harder to get on a routine but I think I need to try to get back on a routine and I think that would obviously help me get back onto the streaming and doing it more consistently, which again, I always say I'd like to, um, I don't know that streaming's necessarily always been the problem though. I, I've had a lot of desires to do more video editing. It's just like, I've made like four or five videos that I put a lot of effort into. Um, and it takes a lot of time. Um, it takes a lot of mental energy and I, I enjoy it. But the thing is, is like, I found myself like stressing so much before I even got to working on it that like, I don't even work. Like I, when I work on them, I do amazing. Like I will, I will go for, uh, uh, like, oh, like a whole week. I worked on that one due process video that I worked ages on and it turned out really good. And I was really proud of it. It's just like, 
I, I have this problem where like I would I would I finish that video and then it's like all right that was a lot I need a break and then it's just like then I just never do anything again I never really got a routine on working on those projects but at the same time when I was creating that content and doing those projects even though they weren't like that big a deal and you know due process was still like a pretty small uh small audience and uh it's i mean it still is a poor game I, I love that game to death but i haven't played it in ages i kind of want to um but th the thing is is that that video was great and it, and it, everybody watched it from that community it's just i don't know i like it stressed me so much to get started and then when i got started i was really happy with it um but it just took a lot out of me and i i, I don't know i don't know how people do it all the time i know people like the thing is I haven't done it enough to figure out a routine on how to do it and I'm busier now than ever I had way I had so much time back in the day and I I I guess I dealt with a lot of I guess nerves in general I was probably too worried about it to even start like I was saying um I feel like I'm very rambly now but it's difficult you know you want to put you want to make something and making something you feel great when you are creating in general, when you are just do working on something, it's fantastic. Uh, yeah, the, these are, these are garbage. If I could do anything, it would be probably to put my thumbs through your eye sockets. I, I would just, I would love to do that. Why do, why do these chats happen? Why is this allowed? Why is this a thing? <laughs> why why do they do this um any hoot um how do i how do i ban people again let's 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 remember how to let's remember how to be mean <laughs> anyway um the point is is i enjoy video creating it takes a lot out of me but i think i was getting better at it and had i kept going with consistency i would be a lot better I've come out better on the other side with it and I'd be better at dealing with it and handling it, but I couldn't get into that routine. And the problem is routine, 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 routine is the biggest thing I think for success and for like just in anything and, and probably just marked progress. I, I don't think success is ever the right way to look at something. I think you just need to look at progress. You need to look at stepping stones. Hey friend, pretty boy Caulfield. That is an awesome name. Welcome. Pretty boy Caulfield. You want me to call you pretty or just just pretty? Or pretty boy? <laughs> You're pretty boy. How's it going? How's your night? We're just kind of talking and venting. I haven't streamed in ages and we're just chilling out. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, so I don't have a problem with streaming. Streaming I can do. I can make time for streaming and it's easy. Doing the video projects I want to do is a little bit tougher. It takes more. Um, I don't know if I have the time now because like I said, back in the day, infinite time, but just, I, I guess too much. I don't know if I would say I was depressed. It was just like, I didn't, I just didn't have that motivation back then. You've been having a good day, friend. I think I have today was actually, I don't know. Today was rough, but it was also really good at the same time. Is your beard ginger? It, it does appear quite ginger, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I would say that it is. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, if we're talking hair colors, we can, we can tangent that as well. So my hair, <laughs> so my hair, since I was young, geez, chill, dude, <laughs> my hair, since I was young, I have bright blonde hair when I was born. Right. Uh, and it kind of turned light Brown, like elementary school to middle school. And it just kept getting darker and darker until like my hair is starting to get closer and closer to black. Uh, but then the beard, right? The beard has mostly been calico kind of colors, man. Like I can't, I can't even fully describe it. It looks kind of red, but other bits of it are like kind of dark brown. And so, like, I, I am kind of a calico cat on the beard. So yeah, pretty boy. It's okay. I understand your your upsetness on the gingers. I miss my ginger actually. Um, one of my friends who plays on stream with me is is ginger and. Uh, I won't, I won't out his gingerness, but I do, I do appreciate him. I miss him a lot. He's a great kid. <laughs> he knows who he is. Actually, it's probably been mentioned on stream like a million times. Gosh, I miss him. Anyway. Um, yeah. So ginger beard, deal with it. Um, 
yeah, so I, I do have planned a couple ideas I have for different videos I want to do. And some of them, some of them are based off the stuff I've streamed and I'm going to stream. Other things are just kind of ideas I had for things that I think might be fun. Could be, could be cool, I guess. Um, I've had an urge to get back into writing. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this too much on stream before. I don't know if I want to play a game tonight. I was kind of just wanting to chill and chat. I mean, we can, maybe I can throw something up here, but we'll think about it for a minute. Um, anywho, I, uh, I used to write, uh, quite a bit, um, but I never really fully finished anything. And I, I don't know, I, I have this problem, man. I feel like I, I enjoy lots of different creative things in my life, but I haven't really, uh, I haven't really, I haven't really done anything with it. And this is, what, this is what I hate to think. Like, I, I, I have interest in like so many things. Um, <laughs> like an ADHD level of like I want to do everything. Um, and I, I don't have the time to do everything. Um, and I don't even like you know when I start getting into something. Uh, sometimes it's just a surface level. Oh, this is really interesting. I enjoy it, but I don't think I could dedicate time to this. Um, but writing was one of those things that I really enjoy, and I can do pretty well. Like, people have told me that I've, I'm actually pretty good at it. Um, like, creative writing, I guess you'd say. Um, not like... <laughs> uh, yeah, not... Just, like, stories and stuff like that. I love good storytelling, and I think that's probably my favorite part about video games, to some degree. Uh, the two things that are great about video games is cooperative games with your friends, puzzles... Uh, but even more so is, is story and storytelling. And my favorite thing about all entertainment mediums is that they can all tell a story. Um, and a lot of them, like, their main whole idea is to tell a story. Like, most movies is to tell a story. You know, like, books is literally telling a story. Video games, they don't necessarily have to. But even when they aren't, don't have, maybe they don't have a campaign, maybe they don't have a, a straight up story, but there is something there, you know? Um, and I, I just love the idea of storytelling and, and how that works. And so I, I just, I want to get back into writing and I've started actually a bit, um, but there's, and, and, and it fits really well with, uh, you know, video editing and you can, you can do a lot with that. And I want to kind of combine the two to some degree. Um, it's just, there's a lot of like, I want to do this or I want to do that. It's just. I hate, I hate talking about it because I, I, I kick myself for not making use of my time just in my, over the course of my life, dude. Like, I feel like I've wasted so much time. Um, but at the same time, I've used a lot of my time for a lot of things that I would consider way more important uh, than any of this. It's just, I don't know, there's times where I feel like I need to, I feel like I've, I've always been told and pushed to very, you know, do the very generic work hard, get job, and just, just do that, and come home and just be a, not be a slob, but just, you know, just completely melt, like, you don't have to do anything, you just, you, it's literally the, the entire, like, work process, I'm not gonna complain about capitalism this whole time, I promise, no, but just the idea that, like, all we do is, you know, work, eat, pay taxes, go sleep, uh, and keep doing that, um, like, yeah, there's, there's, there's monotony in life for sure. Everybody, everybody's aware of the monotony in your life, right? Um, but I feel like there's a point where I stopped wanting to have hobbies or things that took work that I could be good at if I just worked at them because work was just meant for making money. And, and not to say that everyone gets a job that they will love or is their passion per se, but I definitely grew up with this whole idea. Um, oh, yay, pre-roll ads are coming up. Uh, I definitely have this whole idea that... Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. This whole idea that no matter what, you're going to have a job you hate. So just get something that pays pretty well and you can work through it. I think that messed me up a little bit. I think it really did. 
That's really too bad. Because I feel like I, I put a lot of time into... Initially, when I was in college, I put a lot of time into thinking about what I wanted to do with my life. And I, I had a lot of uh, ideas on what I thought made sense for me. Um, and then, as I said before, I'm a member of the LDS Church, uh, and we serve two-year missions and all that. And that's why I know Spanish. And so uh, I got sent to uh, Mexico. Cracking Ocean 33, how's it going? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing, man? Um, I, I got uh, I got someone shouting at me earlier because I have a ginger beard. That was weird. <laughs> How are you doing? Hope you're having a good night. We're just chatting about life right now. But anyway, I was saying, member of said, uh, as people will call it, the Mormon church. Um, I served a mission in Mexico. Loved it to death. The people are fantastic. Learning Spanish was great. The food is fantastic. They're, they're not wrong about that. Um, can be a dangerous place. Pretty impoverished. It's kind of rough. Um but I left for two years and then when I came back, um, I completely switched up my major. Uh, originally you're doing good working in massage therapy. Oh, that's cool. How do you like that? Is that a, do you enjoy that kind of work? Is it rewarding? <laughs> and does it ever get awkward? Cause I feel like I would be awkward just receiving a massage, honestly. Um, but I completely switched my major. Like I had, um, planned, it was interesting because I went into, we had a, a family and child development uh, classes uh, and a major. And I, I thought about doing that because I thought about possibly doing psychology. And they say that was it most of all college uh, majors or people who do college majors go into psychology because um, most people just want to figure out what's wrong with them. Uh, whereas I enjoy psychoanalyzing people um, and I, I, I actually enjoy understanding uh, what makes people click to some degree. Um, but at the same time, when I looked at everything and when I got back, I was like, I'm not going to make any money doing any of this. And then I was like, well, let's just do what I enjoy doing generally. And I was like, well, let's just get into tech. Let's just do computer science major. And I did a, bin a business minor. And I was like, I just want to make money. I don't, I guess I, sh I shouldn't care about things that I feel like could be more rewarding, uh, or things that like could be, you know, more creative outlets that I really, really enjoy. But, uh, you know. I'm going to have to say, do you want fries with that? Cause I can't find a job for it. Like that's, that's kind of the, the mindset that I was kind of pushed into. And I, I really kind of regret, uh, believing that sort of thing all the time. See, so, good. And these people I work with said that they're quitting soon after five years, finding a new career. People give up too easily. I don't know what else they would go for. I don't plan on going to school anymore. And no, it doesn't get awkward for me. That's good. <laughs> that was the important question I needed answered. Um, yeah, no, that's interesting. Quitting after five years of finding a new career. See, and that, this is something that kind of scares me and kind of scared me when I, I, cause I used to work in IT and then I moved into e-discovery, which you can say, I mean, they're both in the tech field and they're both, um, they, they share some similarities to some degree. Um, but I, I don't know. I got really nervous, uh, when I switched between just straight up doing IT and then moving into e-discovery. Like I, I felt weird changing careers. And so like, yeah, so after five years, uh, that's that's got that just sounds nerve wracking to me. But anyway, I mean, I will let you know. Like, oh no, it doesn't care. And if I wanted to quit, I couldn't. Oh geez, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, no, I uh, was it five months ago or no, not five months ago. It was like seven months ago now. I got fired from my job uh, a while back. Um, I found a new one pretty quick because I'm 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 kind of a cool cat. People kind of like me. Um, don't know why, <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, the ability to, to find and get a job, uh, can be tough. And so that's why the idea of changing careers, like career paths in general is, is scary in my mind, but at the same time, you got to do what you got to do. But Hey, if you like working in massage therapy, that's cool. I mean, see, that's the thing is like, that seems like a job that, I mean, I don't really understand it. I don't really know. So like you can tell me I'm wrong, but like, that definitely seems like you, you know what you need to do. Like, like there's, there's, there's methods and, you know, p certain people probably need certain, certain help in certain areas, but like, you don't normally see anything too super out of the ordinary. I would imagine you just kind of go in, you take your appointments, you, you do what you need to do and then you're done. Like it's not, you're not dealing with like somebody unplugged the server. I mean, I, unless, you know, 
someone does unplug a server that has all your clientele information on it, and that's probably a little bit of a problem, I'm sure. Looking forward to working on cruise ships. See, that's see, that's 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 the way to go. Like, <laughs> see, yeah, you can you can have some flexibility there. Like, if you're in an office or you're on you know on a cruise ship, or you're gonna be some fancy hotel, like that's pretty cool. So many people are negative working on cruise ships. Really, they don't understand what's like almost being homeless or homeless. Yeah, now see, that's that's the thing is that uh, there's a lot to take for granted in life, dude. Like some people are way more lucky than others on on that front. People are way more blessed in certain areas. People give up too easily. I would agree with that. Like I, I 100% agree with that. Um, and, and that's like one thing I'm talking about a lot. They wouldn't complain if they didn't have food. Yeah, exactly. Um, like I, yeah, like I've given up too easily in a lot of things in my life. I, I wouldn't say that I've done it to the point of where like I've just you know stopped working or um, given up just on a bunch of things. I didn't give up on school. I mean, there are times I feel like I wanted to, but I never did. Um, but I, I do feel like I've been saying before the creative stuff, like I, I just dropped a lot of it and I feel, I feel embarrassed about that. I feel like I, uh, I gave up some opportunities probably, or, or, you know, gave up on the possibility of doing more things with it. Uh, but at the same time, part of me wants to say it's not too late. It's never too late for that sort of thing. Let's see. Like, sure, people burn out and can do what they want, but they don't know what it's like to be homeless. I'm probably going to buy a tiny home in the future. Do it. Do it. I don't know your situation, Kraken Ocean, but, like, seriously, like, if you have the ability to buy a place to live, do it. Like, honestly, because a lot of people, even if they don't have, you know, if they don't have somewhere to live or if they do, like, People are renting and people are <laughs> getting all their rent jacked up and people don't have property and people don't have, people just don't own anything anymore and it's not good. It is clearly not good. Um, things are getting worse and the banks are closing. <laughs> so I'd say get what you can when you can and uh, stay safe, man. Jeez. A lady that complained with other therapists didn't complain with me. She didn't talk all massage which means she was comfy and said i did a really good job that's fantastic that's good to know i mean that's the other thing is that if, i guess if you're doing a really good job then people aren't even going to talk there's not going to be i mean it's not necessarily an awkward silence as long as they're enjoying themselves right as long as everything's going to plan this this new re4 looks pretty sick i'm not gonna lie people have been saying good things i i thought about downloading it to play it tonight but i i did not um I do plan on playing the demo, though. I'll probably play the game at some point when I have time. Again, it comes down to that time. I, I have... I still really need to get through Final Fantasy VII, and we also need to finish up Silent Hill 2. We need to finish that before the new one comes out. Um, but yeah, people just need to not give up. People need to keep trying and keep moving. It's frustrating, though, because I feel like... I hate, I hate bagging on myself for, like having not tried something in the moment that I felt like I could do it, you know? Tanky, what is up, dude? I haven't heard from you in ages. How are you doing, Tanky? Oh my gosh. Love you, dude. Hope you're doing well. How's, how's VR life? Are you still living in VR? <laughs> I, Dude, I've wanted to play more VR games and I just have not had the time. Again, I don't have a lot of time. Um, I need to, we need to finish Final Fantasy VII. We need to finish Final Fantasy II. Those are the two games I'm going to stream. And once I'm finally done with them, then we can move on to something else. Um, but yeah, there was a, there was this shooter game I wanted to get. It's in beta right now for a. It's in VR. I can't remember what it was called. It was like Breachers or something like that. I wanted to try that one out. It looked really cool. Kraken Ocean, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the resolution, my man. Don't get why people waste their money to go for a degree they don't enjoy. Yeah, that's that. That was me. Like I was saying earlier, like I enjoy technology i enjoy computers uh i even enjoy programming to a degree it's just like i didn't want it to be a career i guess like like in my mind i don't feel like that's good for me as a job everyday job but when i went to school i was like i just need to do computer science i'm not gonna make money if i don't get into some sort of stem or tech field so like why why do anything else and it's kind of frustrating still because I feel like I, I don't really keep up with my programming skills, and I ought to, but I don't because I just, it feels stressful. I just feel too stressed sometimes to do it, and I don't know why. I have I have problems with stress, man. 
Welcome to my life. Breachers is amazing. See, Breachers looks really cool. I really want to play it. I have my Oculus. I have all my stuff here. I just I just need to need to take a minute. I need to take a minute, set it up, give it a shot. And it's all free, too, because it's still in beta. So I'll have to try Breachers. If, and if you're around at some point, Tanky, we should play together. I'm, I would love to do that. Lameo, but it makes no sense. You're literally spending thousands. Not you, but people that go too far for something they don't want. That's a waste. You know, for sure. No, no, no. I, I totally understand. Yeah, no, I, I'm almost done with my student loans, and it's I, I've, I'm I've completely fine with the decision I made and where I went and everything that happened because of it. I made a good decision on where I went. And like, I don't I don't have any complaints personally about where I went to school and, and how much I had to pay. Um, but, uh, well, how much I had to pay is stupid. It's Colleges are stupid and unfair, if you want my opinion, but the point still stands. You should go for something you want to do, and the thing is, is that there's there's no point in going just there's no point in going go to people should go to trade schools go to community college don't don't go to regular college it's dumb <laughs> it's not worth it too many negative people in this world people don't care nowadays about their job and don't put an effort that's true um i and I, I have such a such a view on these things though like i agree with putting an effort and i agree in trying your best i don't agree with busting your butt to some degree i gotta stop saying degree <laughs> There's too many degrees in here. It's hot. Actually, I'm kind of warm. I might take this hoodie off. Um, <laughs> five subs. I'll take the hoodie off. I went for a haircut yesterday. The oldest of the owner cut, oldest son of the owner uh, cut my hair and made it uneven. And I had to get my father to cut my hair even. He did it, but I was pissed. I'm going to, I'm going to a better haircut place. <laughs> but been going here since I was a kid. That sucks. Five subs, you see, yeah, five subs and this this sweatshirt can be taken off. It's nice and hot. <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. Um, main message, people don't give a sh Yeah, people don't. They really don't. People should care. People should care about what they do. I, I definitely think people should work. You should work hard and you should care about what you do. You should, you should have pride in your work. Those things are all important. Don't go over over and above gosh dang it thank you i hate you so much <laughs> thank you dude no i don't hate you i love you that's really kind of you and i was making a joke and you're you're correct and now i'm gonna be <laughs> and this is the thing i was gonna like thinking about doing anyway and i'm like give me subs and i'll do <laughs> like qu quick give me 10 subs and i'll go get a drink of water like <laughs> goodness gracious oh warmth oh the jacob's ladder yeah one of the few channel redeems i still have a bunch of a bunch of the stuff i used to use for channel redeems are in storage because i moved so i don't have them but here's the jacob's ladder there you go <laughs> so for anyone who didn't know pretty boy caulfield uh does not does not approve of the fact that i'm ginger or ginger bearded anyway and it, he was really upset and left anyway now he has a sub so screw him <laughs> sucks to suck Kraken saying, you may think richer people are better, but they could never work jobs and survive. In a lot of ways, I agree. That's probably true. Um, there's definitely a lot of people who make a lot of money who haven't had to work too much for it. Um, there's definitely jobs where you don't have to work too much and you're not necessarily rich or, you know, like super, super successful, but like you make a lot of money for doing not a lot. Um, and, and I mean, there's some people who are born into it, some people who have, you know, uh, more benefits beforehand, you know, rich parents. Maybe they don't give you everything, but they, they help you out to start you with. You seem chill, but I am <laughs> prejudiced against <laughs> Rangars. I don't understand the Rangar. Lol, why did I get gifted a sub? Who are you? Sebulent, don't worry about it. Just just, just look into my eyes. It's going to be okay. You're in the right place now. Stay here. Stay. No, uh, Sebulent... I literally, the, the whole story is, I got warm. I was wearing a hoodie, and I said I might take this off. And my friend Tanky in the chat was there, and he heard me when I jokingly said, gift me five subs and I'll take this thing off for you. Uh, and he did it, and so uh, here you are. That's, that's, that's the story, you're here now. So sorry, my dude. <laughs> they come into this... <laughs> all right all right pretty boy coffee you gotta chill dude or you're getting kicked my dude giving out money tanky he may as well be well i got a sub yeah you got a sub glendale i'm so sick dude <laughs> dude you're 
You're, you're freaking me out, man. Can I get a dollar for a for real? <laughs> Somebody give Subulet one dollar for real, for real, no cap. Um, this kid, this kid needs a dollar. <laughs> um, so I forgot where I was. Long story short, for anyone who doesn't know me, Res Five One MK. I play lots of video games, but right now we're just chilling. Normally, I play Final Fantasy games. I play survival horror games. Lots of cooperative shooters. Lots of competitive shooters as well um just whatever i feel like resi the daddy yes i am a father i'm a father of one also a husband of just one <laughs> um and uh we're just chilling man we're just having fun it's been a while since i've streamed but we're just venting we're just talking i'm just relaxing man so everybody hang out and chill if you'd like or if you don't it's whatever um pretty boy caulfield i still love you my dude but you gotta you gotta you gotta relax man you're, 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 I, I'm fine with some people freaking out a little bit. I'm fine with, I'm fine with language even occasionally. Not that I like to swear personally. I'm not, I'm not good at swearing. I never sweared as a kid. I would not swear. And so like, I actually can't because like, it's just like, it doesn't sound practiced enough. Like I don't, I, I just sound stupid. There you go. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> Damn it. Um, it's not exactly what I meant, but thank you. I appreciate that too. No, um, <laughs> um i just <laughs> people just gotta control themselves relax yeah again i'm fine i'm fine with some people going ham for a minute but like don't don't continually start spamming sensei main goon gosh sensei i miss sensei i i feel like i pop in his, into his stream occasionally but i'm not able to watch good old sensei snap too much um gosh i haven't I haven't done a lot on Twitch in a while. Like, I've watched some, like, bigger streamers occasionally, because I usually put them on. I, I, I watch some streams on my phone before I go to sleep. I, I actually watch a lot of StarCraft. I've kind of wanted to play StarCraft and, like, learn to play old-school Brood War StarCraft, by the way. Um, I've kind of wanted to learn to play it, like, competitively to some degree. Like, I'd probably be, like, an f rank player, but... Um, I just really enjoy those strategy, old strategy games, games I played as a kid, and I love them. He's different now. Not near as fun. He's not near as fun. Is it because he has a second child? <laughs> I haven't reached second child status. I'm not as cool as Sensei. Uh, yes, I, I love Sensei. Sensei's a good dude. Um, Sensei's definitely, I would say, no, he's more stricted on streams. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, it was sticked? Like, you mean like restricted? Or what are we saying? Sticked it, sicked it, stick. Trick. I, I can't. I can't. I'm bad at Wordle. I'm bad at Wordle. Tanky, help me. <laughs> like, he can't be retired. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um, <laughs> I mean, y'all, I mean, y'all are in very different parts, uh, parts of your lives. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he's just trying to chill, be chiller more or what, but yeah, I mean, that's the thing is, you can still vibe with someone, but yeah, if you, if, if you don't like playing with him, you don't play with him, not necessarily, man. Like, um, yeah, I feel like my, my uh, sensei snap, if you can hear me. Now nah, he's just trying to do too much. I think he does take on a lot. To, to his credit, he does really well with everything he does, as far as I'm concerned. Um, maybe he doesn't think so. I think he does a great job. Uh, but to sensei snap, if you're out there, or not out there, I don't care. I love you, dude. Uh, <laughs> sensei. Uh, my only issue with Sensei, my main grievance with Sensei, is um, I feel like I can't get him to stick to a game. Like I, <laughs> I got Hunt Showdown and played with him like twice, and then he's like, I'm never playing this game again. Uh, and then he played like five months later. I can never tell what he's going to do next. <laughs> but I, I appreciate him. Clipped. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I love Sensei Snap. Clip that. Um, he's a good kid. I do love Easy. <laughs> No, Sensei is the best. Um, I just I feel like I can't can't keep up with all the games he switches to. I've downloaded and uninstalled Rainbow Six too many times for that man. <laughs> uh, I hate Rainbow Six Siege because I played that game like religiously for like three years and then I stopped. And then occasionally I want to get back into it, and I both enjoy it and hate it at the same time. I don't know how I feel about it. Dude, I only play VR now, really. Yeah, I've, I, that's that's interesting, because if you have VR, I feel like that's chill and cool and normal. Like, if you want 
to do that like it's it's a completely like it feels completely different and it's enjoyable in such a different way that it's like like i really enjoy vr um vr games are a lot of fun from what i've played so far um but it, i guess it really depends on who who you are and what you like because i feel like a lot of people would be like you don't feel as accurate or you don't feel as like there's something about having everything right up against your face that could probably be distracting or like you don't feel as you know you don't feel as capable as because you're no you're used to your mouse and your keyboard or your controller or what have you but yeah no, i really enjoy vr i like i like switching between the two um playing phasmophobia in vr is a lot of fun and very terrifying i hate it <laughs> i should do phasmophobia in vr again but yeah i want to get breachers dude i gotta play breachers um playing that mech game was really good you're sending me a youtube videos tanky oh you're still making you're still making the vids that is good this is that one game you've been playing for a while, right? I forgot the name of it. I'm trying. That's hey, that's good on you, dude, for keeping it going. I appreciate your art. Veil, vale, that's what it was called. Yes, yes, yes. Are you still playing that one? How are you enjoying it? Hey, Caroline, what's up? We're just talking about life, liberty, and the pursuit of not being poor. Um What's new, Caroline? Um, so yeah, I can't remember where I left off, but basically, um, my dreams were shattered and, uh, I'm trying to get back to doing the hobbies I enjoy. That's, that's kind of the, that's kind of the story. It's not as fun anymore. Uh, is there drama? Is it drama? Is it like due process drama? <laughs> or is the game just like not, cause the game looks kind of not bare bonesy to me, but it looks like it's still very in development, uh, Vale. No and yes. Got it. Got it, got it. It's always hard, those those uh, early community games. Or those, those games that are in early access and there's a very vocal community. It can be very double-edged sword. It be very difficult. I am hungry and thirsty. I should have brought water in here. I have a problem where I was not thinking about not streaming because it was so late. But then when I start streaming, I don't want to stop. That That's a problem I have. That's something I need to work on. I know that room. You do know this room. This is where we. This is where I grew up, anyway. And you use this room as an office for a while as well, which is what I'm doing now. A lot of n words thrown out. Watch the video live. Oh, I'm scared to watch the video live. Uh, <laughs> if there were n words thrown out, no, I imagine there's no n words in your video. Honestly, I, I would not expect that to be the case. No. <laughs> All right. Honestly, as well, this might actually also be a good test. So if you don't mind me watching the video on here, I will in competition oh in competition oh dude that's even worse um this is gonna be a good test because i'm actually not even 100 percent sure uh i've had issues with my computer playing things back or like playing other videos while while streaming so this will be interesting to see all right we'll leave it at 1080 hopefully it doesn't kill the stream if it kills the stream i love all of you it might kill the stream I, it, it's done it with uh twitch clips in the past don't know why all right I do love this opening. Did Sensei make this make this opening for you? Or did you make it? Or did you fiver it? Or what happened? I need to know who made your opening. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is your brain it? Damn, this shit feels smoother. I know, right? Dude, the, the clothing in this game slays me every time. Like, oh no. Are you oo-wooing on people? <laughs> Just the tips? I hate this. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Bro, I wish I was verified <laughs> on Twitter. See the highlight of my life. You can, just pay $8. Yeah, I was gonna say pay for it. <laughs> CBC, do you even have Twitter? Exactly. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna catch that in the gun. Look like we're still good. Alright, what are we doing? Who's playing where? Yeah, see, I haven't played any any guns or uh, gun games yet, or at least you know, like realism. So like, I want to do like all the reloads and the slide pulling and all that in VR. It just looks like fun. Oh, 
I got double. I'm playing outside. Right next. I didn't even get to do anything. <laughs> Can I just say, like, 50% of the time, if I ever played Due Process with Tanky and Sensei, like, that was me. I was just like, oh, I didn't get to do anything. I was here, though. Like, <laughs> I had my gun ready. No one showed up, but I, I was there. <laughs> That's how I always felt. <laughs> yeah. I can hold my own, but when they're in the game, it's just like, they get there way quicker than I do <laughs> every time. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Lots of throwing. Lots of objects. Is that a smoke and a flash? One's B side. Yeah, two cat. Got one lower. Oh, that was nice. I hate you guys. Ooh. Double doors, both double doors. I do like that you still get the how a lot of games have that line that shows you where you got shot from. I feel like the transition between life and death, though, sometimes is just very, like, what? Like, you can't, it's, I don't know, for a second, it's, like, hard to tell when you get shot and killed that, like, you're actually dead. Obviously, the colors change. Ooh. Pretty Boy Caulfield got banned from Twitch, lol. <laughs> Wait, from all of Twitch? <laughs> Is he dead now? <laughs> Do we kill him at this night? Is he gone forever? Oh, dude, the freaking zip lining. How's the zip lining like? That looks fun. <laughs> Do you get sick at all? Get any motion sickness? Double doors. No, no fall damage, nice. <laughs> So can you just, like, you can't really, like, because your gun is in front of you, so you can't really put a gun around the corner and just shoot, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, dang. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're getting assaulted. When he types, his messages don't show for anyone. Effing around in too many people's chats. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, again. Oh, you got used to it? Okay. okay. Yeah, I was going to say, Pretty Boy Caulfield, like, I'm fine with someone just, you know, being upset or just wanting to, you know, say something absurd and, you know, it's how they want to do things, sure, but, like, if they do it forever, I'm like, alright, you're getting annoying, like, just chill, like, please chill. No flashing people, please. No flashing people. I got, I got, I got, uh, thief room. How, how useful is the sidearm in this game? I got one. Is, oh, and is this, like, is this, like, uh... Whatchamacallit? Like, are there pistol rounds and stuff? Like, you need to buy guns like this is, uh... I hate that oof. stupid gun. Stied hall still. CSGO. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. No, sadly. Okay, so pistol sucks. Or it's not great. I don't know, okay. Someone just used it. Hey, they're pushing. They're pushing from behind. Is there a lot of gun variety in this game yet? Or not really? I feel like I've only really seen this assault rifle and the pistol and then maybe a different... Can't remember if there was a different automatic rifle. Are you skiing? What was that? What is that? Not really. Oh, it's too bad. I do kind of like the like the grenades or like orbs and stuff. Everybody looks like they're going to a clan meeting though in the future. Yeah, two double. Like some different colors in the enemy team would be nice. Everything looks very, or like, cause I feel like I've watched a couple clips of you playing this before. Oh yeah, the other players just look like a, like they're a, a shadow of the normal, or just the standard model. Not to rag on anybody's game, but dude, that was cool. That looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> it does look like a futuristic clan meeting. <laughs> Watch my old DP montage. Oh goodness, dude. I missed you process. I mean, I could play it. It's just been ages since I played it. And, uh, yeah, I kind of, same, not the same. Yeah, no, it's probably not. I think I kind of just, if I do ever play this game again, I kind of just want to get a group of people together and just do private matches, like, just, 
keep playing, but just try to be chill with it. Cause like, I don't, I don't care if I get beat. I mean, and lots of times, like I was able to beat up on a lot of the other really good players occasionally, but like, it just gets tiresome with how obnoxious people are. And then, uh, it's just like no one, no one wanted to play. And I feel like a ton of new people didn't want to uh, keep playing. And it was never for any of the reasons that like, m <laughs> like I, I feel like I just remember Revenant complaining like all these things like, oh, these are why new players are leaving. And like, none of it felt like any of the reasons why new players were leaving. Like, it didn't seem like anyone understood the, the problems with like the community and everything, but. Oh, the frickin' tubby kills were so much fun, dude. Oh, I miss it. Oh, dude. <laughs> you, you whiffed those two shots. I think you got a couple pellets on, but dang. Yeah, this is... Okay, yeah, with the costumes and stuff, so this is... Yeah, I'm trying to remember, because there's a bunch of different updates with the tub that... Some were had it really strong, and others that were it, they nerfed it at one point. It was really bad. Uh, and the super shorty. The tub fam. Everybody go subscribe to Tanky. Everybody like Tanky's videos. Like that. When was this? Eleven months ago. <gasps> pain is my best montage. Which one was pain? Is it? Will it play it if I just let it run? Pros no, it's gonna go to you because I watch too many TO videos. Anybody watch Attack on Titan? I've watched a lot of Attack on Titan stuff lately. <sighs> go to my channel. I'll go to your channel because I love you and you're beautiful. The Tankster. Tanky GG, right? Tanky GG. Pain. I'm pretty sure I've watched this one before. I'm trying to remember. I don't think this is the one I helped with. I do miss playing this game, though. I know they're still working on it. And supposedly there's, like, bigger stuff that are coming, that's coming down the line, but, like... It's all really slow, and I understand that it has to be with a game like this, and how they, how many devs there are, and what they gotta do, but, I don't know, it's just frustrating that, like, we only have, like, <laughs> it's only, like, ten people left that care, maybe, if they're lucky. I feel bad about that. And there's just so many people who, I remember hearing talking about how, how they really really enjoyed the game but they just don't want to play because they keep playing against the same people and they are all really rude and just <laughs> keep beating them dang tank you dude oh when people don't look hey i'm finally here oh my god oh this it was that there was a car for that Basement roof right there, dude. I miss some of that stuff. The, the, getting viewpoints on high windows as def, uh, as an attacker is always really, really powerful. Dude. Avocado. Not the avocado. Dude. Yeah, dude, and the shorty was really, got really good. I really enjoyed having the shorty after they did the shotgun update, because it, like, really, really just murdered. <laughs> and you could actually use it as a, a primary, technically, like... Oh, a lot of people listen. Nice. <laughs> nice. No, he's just totally. Still in the button. Yep. Oh, you disrespected that man. That man. <laughs> he was. He was trying his best. Oh, donut. 
That man, he was trying his hardest. He had a long day at work. Oh no. Uh, Tanky, you do some good stuff, my dude. Did I not like this video? I like this video. Goodness gracious. I'm late to likes, my friend. So sorry. <laughs> Dude, thank you for sharing your content and stuff, man. I do appreciate you. Well, that is good. That is very good. <sighs> so yeah, I want to make more videos. I want to make more content. I want to do more stuff. Just finding the time and making a routine. So I think I just need to make a routine. I need to get back in routine so that this kind of stuff can actually happen. I'm gonna go make an effing Pavlov video later down the road. Maybe Veil Montage. Do it, dude. Have you done anything for Breachers yet? Or have you? You said you played Breachers, right? Because that, that's the one that looks most interesting to me right now, anyway. At least for VR stuff. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's free. But I think, I think it's only through Ocula or like the Quest, I think. I don't know what you got, but. I play a lot though. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Yeah, you got the index. Okay, that's right, that's right. Got it. Yes, dude. That's the one thing I hate about VR is there's so many different, uh, so many different headsets, man. I'm still surprised that the PlayStation uh, did a second uh, or PSVR two. One KBB. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so much money. <laughs> I thought I got the Quest. It was cheaper. Then again, I didn't pay for it anyway, but. <laughs> Oh, that's the only good thing about my old job is they'd give us stipends to buy silly things that w were apparently quote unquote good for my mental health. Um, like I believe that for a minute. Oh my goodness, guys. I love all y'all. You're all fantastic. I'm a sleepy dude. Um, I should probably call it quits. I got a few things I need to do before I go to bed and I should go to bed before it's super late because... That's that's life, man. It's tomorrow's Thursday. I got work, and then my wife and I have an appointment after work. We got a lot to do. Oh, there's so much to do, man. <laughs> Being adults hard. There's lots to do. Um, I think if I make a schedule, I can keep to it for streaming. And I think if I set aside just like an hour, maybe I just wake up early Saturday mornings and work maybe two, two and a half hours or until the baby wakes up. If I can wake up before the baby and work on videos before the baby wakes up, then I can make videos. Before it was going to be because generally nowadays I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right? Tuesdays and Thursdays were going to be when I work on video stuff. But uh, I got a few more things that kind of dropped into my plate. So Tuesday's kind of taken up to some degree. And I need, I just, there's, there's like, it's just like during the week, it just doesn't really work <laughs> at all for me to do video stuff. So that might be what I have to do. And then again, I can't do every Saturday because it's usually when we, we, we get our chiropractor appointments on Saturday. Let me tell you, chiropractors are like worth their weight in gold, my dude. I never feel more healthy and happy than after a chiropractor session, dude. Like, Go to go to a chiropractor, kids. It's worth it. It's freaking worth it. Oh, my goodness. Alrighty. Well... I think I'm just going to leave. I think we're just going to call it. I think we're just going to have at not being here anymore. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I don't think I have much else to say. Life's been good. Life has been hard. But it's never too late to start doing things you want to do. And it's never too late to make things better. You're never going to be perfect on your first try. And if you were, then stuff would be really, really boring. Again, you don't, you don't go for success. You go for progress. One step at a time, making little advancements in your abilities uh, at any given thing. Um, so we're going to try that. We're going to try that out. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the play. That's what we're doing. All right, everybody. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you all at some point. Probably stream. Gosh, am I going to stream next week? I don't know that I am. I could maybe stream. I could stream this Friday. Next Monday. Next Wednesday if I was insane. I can't do Wednesday. No, 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 no. I could do Wednesday. Um, Thursday, I have a ton of stuff I need to take care of. Uh, mostly like car stuff. Sadly. The 24th, I'm going to uh, PAX East. I'll actually be at PAX on the 24th. So if anyone's going to PAX, you can come see me. Um, but after that, I will be gone for three weeks. Um, which kind of sucks. I kind of really wanted to stream most of this past month so that we could get some more stuff in. Um, but uh, alas, I have not. So maybe we'll stream Friday and next week if I can. And then I'm going to be gone for three weeks. We're going to go visit my wife's family. We'll be gone uh, for that amount of time. So I will be unable to stream. Um, but uh, I hope... To do really well after that. We're going to get that routine going. We're going to do that. For for me, for my family, for you, for everyone. For the better betterment of mankind, even. Alright, that's it. We have dragged this on long enough. Good night, everybody. I'll see you later. Yeah!